Hello everybody, my name is Kashi, and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy. So last episode, we finally got through Cody Hacken's testimony. We showed off his little notebook, sorry, photo album that he made that was really cute. As well as showed the empty bottle of sleeping pills to Judge Grandpa and was like, Look at this. Yeah, no. William Powers was also a victim. Now, I'm not saying that Jack Hammer wasn't a victim, because obviously he died, but I'm saying that they both were victims in their own way. Obviously, murder's uh, a little more up there than just being drugged. I mean, being drugged is bad, but at the end of the day, a will is still alive. So the judge gave us some homework, and because of the new law in this game, you only have three days to make your case before a decision is made. So after Maya returned, we had a little discussion, found out that when Mia is in charge, she basically checks out. So I was wrong with the thought that she kind of could see out of her own eyes, but it seems, like I said, I was wrong. So we came back. Uh, Grandma Old Bag basically was like, I hate your guts. You slandered Jack Hammer's name. You should rot in hell. And we're like, okay. We went, talked to Miss Vasquez, who, well, it was a very one-sided conversation as she gave no fucks and wanted to watch the clouds. As well as pretend that the Steel Samurai never happened. We then talked to Penny. Who told us that the Steel Samurai had one last episode coming out. And then it was going to be cancelled. And obviously Maya did not like that. And asked if I would step in. So we showed her the photo album and was like see kids really enjoy this you know they have to have someone that they can worship on this level oh we also saw uh two himbos in one day both will as well as detective gumshoe who showed us a little science trick because quote unquote the science guy of his precinct gave him some stuff you can end the quote there i don't remember actually what he said but I do remember that he called the guy, the science guy. Gave him some powder that he put on the plate to reveal that there were some traces of the sleeping pills still on the plate. So right now, we're trying to figure out why exactly Will Powers... <laughs> Wrong person. We are trying to figure out why Jack Hammer drugged Will Powers. We did find out, however, that Jack caused a death about five years ago when he was working on a movie. And from the sounds of it, Vasquez was the reason why it was covered up and he was at her beck and call. Now, we're going to try to talk to Old Bag and see what information we can get. What? You're still slinking around. If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? I mean, it depends. Am I going to get paid? Because we are eating cup noodles and there's only so many things you can do to cup noodles to make them tasty. The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do you think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Better get the rabies test. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Alright, let's see what we can talk about safely without you biting us. Uh, we're going to talk about producer Vasquez. Um, 
I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Okay, yeah, nope, nothing new here. Yep. Okay. All right, let's talk about five years ago. You have to know something. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Oh, no. Who told you? Who did you hear that from? I, I, I think if I told her that it was Penny, she would probably go beat Penny's ass. I, uh, huh? Nichols. N Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. I, I mean, how was I supposed to know that we never got her last name? Oh, God damn it. Penny, Nichols, they're both... Ugh. They're both coins. I, I hate this game so much. Uh, oh, right. Anyways, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Ooh, whippersnappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. So, one of my great aunts that I used to spend a lot of time with, uh, she always used to tell me to never speak bad about the dead. And I always thought it was just in bad form. But I realized, like, later on that, no, I'm pretty sure she was superstitious and thought they were just going to haunt her. But, eh, my family's terrible people. I mean, what? I suppose you think this is fun? Well, not really. I'm just trying to get a himbo out of jail. N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that... A hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm. I mean, the only thing I think of is the bottle of sleeping pills. So, I'm gonna say we have proof. I'm sorry, Miss Old Bag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Uh, we're gonna show the... Yeah, we're gonna show him this because this has the fingerprints. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? God damn, how much did you worship this man? I, I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Yes, and guess who had a little nap right after lunch? Will Powers. Ugh. Where is your proof that he used those pills on Powers? I mean, it doesn't say it's his plate, but this is the best I got. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so. This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Wow, you're finally admitting that the man you worship did something wrong. Good for her. Miss Old Bag. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Ugh, I don't have a pipe or spectacles or a clipboard, so right now I can't dress up as an old-timey therapist. But okay, Miss Old Bag, go take a seat over there. Tell me your problems. Miss Old Bag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. 
And that's the thing. They keep saying accident. So it's not like he did it maliciously. I mean, again, you don't really want an actor's name to be dragged in the dirt like that. But still. Oh, what's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. Yes, we already knew that. She has ties to the mafia. Okay, figured as much. She silenced that paparazzi. Forever. And that was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. Okay. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. And that I can believe. Miss Oldbag. Hold on a minute. I'm not done. Poor Miss Oldbag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh, oh, that explains why the fence was like that. Hell yeah, so somebody did die, just wasn't him. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is, is this trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on top of those stairs there. Also, was it a samurai tennis movie or was he straying away from the samurai movies? Just curious, no hate. He pushed the other actor and the man fell on the flower box fence. God, that would be painful. But, but how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. I swear, lately, every time I start playing this game, my cat just comes up and goes, Hey there, what are you doing? And can I stare at you? Which is why if you guys ever hear deep breathing, that's not me, it's my cat. Which, when I went to the shelter, they were like, Oh, oh yeah, we just got her in, so we had to clean her teeth, so her, her breathing's a little askewed because of the breathing tube. But it'll quiet down. It's been a few years and it has not quieted down. But hey, she was also not ready to be adopted just yet because they literally just got her in. Hadn't even taken her photo yet. And we just walked in, looked at this cat and went, well, this is ours now. Goodbye, everybody. And took her home a week later. Remember, everybody. Adopt. Don't shop. All right. Um, I don't. I don't think there's anything I can do. I mean, we've already talked about everything. Um. No, I don't. I don't think there's anywhere to go. But I don't. I don't know. We kind of talked to her about everything. What do you think, Kitty? What should we talk to her about? Kitty does not care. All right, so I checked my law office thinking maybe I would find something. I did not. So it looks like we're going to go see if we can talk to Vasquez again. I hear you work for the Mafia. That's very attractive. Oh, nothing? It, there's nothing I can talk to you about? What, what if I present this to you? I don't remember, you have to press E. Okay, that's guys. She's not even looking. Where? What? Where did you get that? 
I, well, old bag. Oh, old bag? Uh, who, who's that? I don't know who that is. She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyways, are you going to make her disappear? Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The uh huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? I mean, my dude, you got some juicy information right now. And you have proof to back it up. Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows, for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. I'm a bit high right now and I have Barbie Girl playing in my head for some reason. Mr. Hamas Korea, a one seller of its own accord. But you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me? Oh, what is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spill everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? Ooh, are we getting some juicy information? No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? And that is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? Oof. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh, oh, well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands. She did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me now. Um, what? This is valuable evidence, boys. Okay, so I already have names. You're going to be Lenny. You're going to be Carl. You're going to be Mo. And you're going to be called Billy Bob. Um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? Oh god, yes, please. I mean, what? What? 
The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should D. Vasquez care at all about it? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that, where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No. Hold it right there. <gasps> it's my hambo. Hey, honey. I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. Vasquez, for the love of God, none of this has to happen. You can legit just be like, yeah, no, it was a murder. He threatened me. I I had to make sure he was still working. Like, there are so many ways we could look at this where you are the victim here. Ugh. Gotta make it complicated. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, I mean. Bonus, Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Uh-huh, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, Shus. I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Aw, oh, we made his dream come true. I'm so glad that I was here for this special moment. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. After all, we do live together now. Listen, I've had so many people message me being like, Kashi, why the fuck do you thirst after this himbo? Why do you ship him with Phoenix when everyone ships him with Edgeworth? And it's because I am a filthy ass degenerate. I do not know how else to make this clear to y'all. Well, Nick... It looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? I mean, not saying anything, but Phoenix, you're definitely not a top. What? D. Vasquez. To be continued. October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Hey, it's October 20th, and it's our 20th episode. Yay! Be more excited. Clap your hands. You like these episodes. Ramble, 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 ramble. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Okay, we have a lot to unpack, so we are going to end this here, and we are going to come back to it later. But oh my god, we got to see two himbos in one day. I'm super fucking hyped. Today was a good day, everybody. Today was a great day. Anywho, I will stop rambling. So everybody, as always, keep it salty like Miss Old Bag. Keep it real like my thirst for himbos. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.